Have you ever struggled to organize your thoughts for a presentation or felt overwhelmed trying to bring a creative idea to life? Whether you're planning a video, crafting a story, or designing a dynamic presentation, a storyboard can be the perfect tool to visually map out your vision and bring it to reality. In this video, we'll present a step-by-step -step guide on creating a storyboard using Prezi. First, why should you use Prezi for storyboarding? Our non-linear design makes it perfect for visualizing your ideas. You can map out scenes or sections, create connections between them, and adjust the layout as needed, all in one place. Next up, we have Prezi's zooming capabilities, which let you focus on both the big picture and the finer details. And if you don't have much time to create a storyboard, you can leverage the Prezi AI Presentation Maker, which will speed up the creation process immensely. So to begin, first log into Prezi at Prezi.com. If you don't already have an account, don't worry, it's free to create one. Once you're logged in, logged in you can select a template. Prezi offers plenty of options from timelines to grids. For storyboarding, you might want something with clear structure, or you can start with a blank canvas for full creative freedom. Before you add anything to your, to your Prezi, take a moment to define your storyboard's purpose. Ask yourself, what are you creating? A presentation, a video, a written story? Also, who's your target audience? You want to sketch out a rough outline of your content to determine how many frames or sections your storyboard is going to need. This is going to help guide the content and design of your storyboard. Now, to create the main structure, first use frames or shapes to represent individual sections of your storyboard. Frames in Prezi act like individual storyboard panels. Use circles, rectangles, or invisible frames to define each segment of your story. Then, arrange them in a logical order that suits your narrative flow. Prezi's freeform canvas allows you to position them literally in a, spiral, in a spiral or however your narrative flows. With your structure in place, it's time to start filling in each frame with meaningful content. Begin by adding text to outline the main idea or action for each section. Keep your descriptions clear and concise to ensure they're easy to follow. Next, bring your ideas to life by incorporating visuals. Use images, icons, or sketches that align with the theme or message of each frame. Visual elements not only improve understanding, but also make your storyboard more engaging and memorable. If your storyboard involves multimedia, consider embedding videos, links, or even GIFs directly into the frames to add an interactive dimension. One of Prezi's standout features is its zoom function. Take advantage of this to focus on the details within individual frames. You can zoom in to add annotations, specify finer points, or elaborate on ideas without overwhelming the overall design. Now that your content is in place, it's time to refine the layout and ensure your storyboard flows seamlessly. Take a step back and review the overall arrangement of frames. Does the sequence make sense? Are there any gaps or sections that feel out of place? Rearrange the frames as needed to perfect the flow of your story. Prezi's drag and drop functionality makes this process quick and intuitive, so don't be afraid to experiment until everything feels just right. To improve clarity and cohesion, consider using connectors to visually link related sections. These lines or arrows can help illustrate relationships between ideas, transitions, or themes, making your storyboard easier to follow. For example, use a connector to show how a decision in one frame leads to the next action or to group frames that represent parallel concepts. These subtle design elements can go a long way in improving the logic and readability of your storyboard. Next, it's time to set the path, the sequence in which your frames will be presented. Using Prezi's path tool, define the order in which your audience will navigate through the frames. Think about the natural progression of your narrative. Does it flow logically or are there areas where transitions feel a little abrupt? Once you've set the path, preview the flow by clicking the present button. This allows you to experience the storyboard as your audience would, helping you identify any areas that may need improvement. Pay close attention to how one frame transitions to the next. Are the connections clear and seamless? If anything feels disjointed, adjust the path or refine the content until the entire sequence flows effortlessly. If you're working with a team, Prezi's collaboration tools make it easy to share your storyboard and gather feedback. Invite your team members to view or edit the storyboard in real time. Once you've received feedback, make the necessary revisions. This might include adjusting content, refining the order, or improving your transitions. Finally, once your storyboard is complete, it's time to save and share your work. 
Prezi automatically saves your progress as you go. It's always a good idea to double check that everything is properly saved, especially before closing a project. And that's it. You've successfully cleared your storyboard using Prezi. By organizing your ideas visually and logically, you're well on your way to creating a polished and engaging final product. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more tips and tutorials. I'm Neva from Prezi's marketing team and I wish you success in using creative storyboards. Have fun and see you next time.